Patterson will be on the ice with Lindholm and Horonic to start. Coyotes in games decided before a shootout are four and five. And it's the Canucks who will control first in this game of possession that is NHL overtime. Horonic. Patterson with him as Horonic carries in down the left. Center is Patterson stopped by Ingram who wasn't sure where the puck was. But Elias Patterson, who tied this game, almost won it, but was denied his third overtime goal of the year. It's amazing what a goal does. Patterson just his legs are churning the entire way up the ice. Heronic broke into the open ice, and sometimes you hold for possession, sometimes the chance is there, and they drove straight to that. That's a great play by Heronic and Pedersen Rob. Good stop by Ingram, and now it's Miller, Garland, and Hughes. Quinn Hughes has an overtime goal this year. Mentioned Miller has a couple. Hughes came very early in the season against the Islanders. He gets the puck off the draw. Miller takes his pass. Finds some room on the near side. Puts it on goal. And Ingram, another save. Hangs on to that one. Just three games to go after this one tonight. And we'll fill you in on that in a moment as we get set for this face-off to the left of Connor Ingram, who's had to make a couple of saves in overtime already. So this one's over on Kerfoot's backhand. You know, Miller likes that forehand draw. He's so strong on it. Hughes over on the boards. Balamaki lined up over there as well. Miller had his stick tied up. Now Hughes goes after the puck, but Michelli gets there first and drops it back to Yuso Balamaki. Kerfoot takes his pass. Brings the puck ahead. Now circles back inside his own lock. Passes to space. Michelli skates onto the puck in with Balamaki. Slowly. Garland watching him. Shelley turning with the puck. Garland knocks it off his stick and out to center ice. There's a minute gone in overtime. Garland heads to the bench, replaced by Brock Besser. Here's an indirect pass. Matias Michelli moves it. Cooley's come onto the ice. Takes a drop pass. Logan Cooley takes the puck behind the net. Besser watching him as he goes all the way back to the blue line. Now it's going to be Valamaki heading off, replaced by Dursey. Gunther's over the boards as well as the Cowboys get fresh legs out there. Dursey on the near side. Into the middle, Dylan Gunther. Puts one in front! Unable to tip that one. Coming to the crease was Logan Cooney as Shilovs did the splits. Canucks still unable to change. Gunther right up the middle. Nice move! He's tripped in the ability to Brock Besser. He doesn't like it. for Arizona, a minute 45 into overtime. Gunther draws the forward and gets around Besser to the outside and stuck on the ice for a couple or for about 90 seconds, I guess. And the Canucks couldn't change. Gunther, who's had a big night, draws the the penalty and the Canucks killed off a five on three earlier for 31 seconds. This is a four on three here in overtime. They hope for a full two minutes as they'll try to get through it and then have a minute or so to try to win the game or get it to a shootout. In the meantime, Archer Shilovs with an equipment problem. He's going to have to make his way to the Vancouver bench. As mentioned, three games for the Canucks remaining after this one here tonight. And how big is the next one, you think? Saturday, Hockey Central Saturday begins, 3.30 Pacific, 6.30 Eastern. And then the Canucks in the nightcap in Edmonton against the Oilers, who move back within three points. It's now four, unless the Canucks do something like pull the goalie here in overtime. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, it's a big game Saturday. Then Calgary's here for the final home game of the year on Tuesday. Canucks wrap up April 18th in Winnipeg before they know their playoff fate, who they're going to face, who they're going to open up with here at Rogers Arena in Vancouver. Shilov back to the back to the Canucks net. So that gave the Canucks a little extra time to talk about what to look for. And it's the same as the five on four here. The, the Coyotes, by the way, have four forwards on the ice. 
but they want the puck in Keller's hands, and Schmaltz can really shoot it in the other circle. Kerfoot against Bluger on the faceoff. And Coyotes draw it back from the Chelly at the blue line to Schmaltz. Arizona sets up, trying to win it here on an overtime power play. Michelli, Keller, Fanning, Cole gets a loose puck ahead of Bluger, and he'll take his time, bring it ahead, chip the puck in deep, and force the Coyotes to come 200 feet. 25 seconds gone to the Besser penalty. Keller, on to the right side, Schmaltz. Hooks one back. Shelley just kept it in. Schmaltz takes his pass. Kerfoot goes towards the front of the net. As Michelli dishes to Keller. Schmaltz, one-timer stopped by Shilovs, and Bluger backhands the puck down the ice. Well, they the goal -tanker. As Bluger's replaced by Lindholm, and he gets back into the play. Schmaltz, Matthias Michelli, Nick Schmaltz, Clayton Keller, watched by Cole. Schmaltz again. Here's Keller. Michelli under a minute to go on the power play. Cole got a stick on that pass. Tipped the puck to the side. Coyotes maintain control. Michelli switches spots with Schmaltz. Pass is blocked by Lindholm. He hustles after the puck. Trying to find it along the boards. Being tied up there by Michelli. Lindholm continues to fight for it. Just kept in. Now still in that room. Sure. Great play. Vancouver number 17 has been awarded a penalty shot for hooking from behind on number eight. One of the things when you have a penalty shot, don't listen to too many guys at the bench. Heronic's over here. You don't, you don't need 14 ideas in your head. You've got one move. You've got one that you like. You've got a secondary one. Don't let your mind get full with everybody's ideas. They're not taking the shot. Did they call timeout so he can catch a breather? I think they did. That's a smart move. He'd been out there a while. Yes. On four, and he expended a lot of energy drawing that penalty shot. So he gets an extra 30 seconds here to catch his breath. Shorty, I had one of these in an NHL game. And as I got up, I thought Donald Odette was coming over to give me advice, and he said, how did you ever get a breakaway? You're so slow. It was embarrassing. I think this is a great play by Hironik. It's an amazing read, and an overtime penalty shot, one of the most rare plays you're going to see. We saw this in 2016, Ben Hutton against the Coyotes and Louis Domingue. Now it's Hironic against Connor Ingram to win the game. Stopped by Ingram as Hironic tried to outweigh him with a fake slap shot and a move to the outside, but this game will continue. Ingram doesn't fall for the fake, which allows him to move and push with his right foot. Secondary push keeps the glove tight. His elbow comes in tight, and the Coyotes celebrate their goaltender. Now, don't forget here, there's still four on three to go. It's 24 seconds left. It's a big draw for Bluger. If they can win the draw, probably kill a lot of the time. If Myers can just back up with the puck for a bit and then shoot it. But that is incumbent on Bluger winning the faceoff. It's the Coyotes who come up with it, and here they come with 20 seconds to go on their power put. Coolian chips one to the middle. Gunther back to Jersey. Cooley across. That's going to come outside the line. Besser standing in the box as Gunther brings the puck in. Cuts to the middle. Besser's back into the game. It's four on four, but he still has to hustle into his own zone. Puck center. They score. Gunther threw it across. Cooley jammed it home. And the Coyotes 
survive an overtime penalty shot from Philip Hironik. Gunther has a four-point night. And Arizona, after blowing a two-goal lead, wins 4-3 in overtime. Tonight's player of the game is brought to you by Waypoint Insurance. Together, protecting what you love. Bit of a roller coaster, and here's how it ended. The Dylan Gunther who had a big night for the Coyotes is going to go across to his buddy Logan Cooley. Cooley gets inside of Bluger. Even though Besser was back on the ice, it was still like a four on three. That pass goes right through Ian Cole's legs. The missed penalty shot, the save by Ingram. And Cooley's able to dunk this in the net. Now, everybody's hanging around here. I'm not sure if the Canucks are looking to challenge something. I mean, it could only be the entry. Might as well. <laughs> Although, there's no more coaches at the bench, are there? Looks like the Coyotes have won it. Second career game winner for Cooley. His first overtime winner comes at 3.51, and Arizona takes it 4-3.